In this series of tutorials, we will demonstrate a step-by-step -step creation of a use case that OCRs business cards, extracts contact data, and uploads the contacts to Salesforce. In part one of the video, we will extract data from the cards via OCR in WorkFusion Studio. In part two of the video, we will implement the mechanism of importing contacts into Salesforce. In part three of the video, we will publish all the recordings to Control Tower, build a business process, and run it. Business cards prepared for OCR are available on the local file storage, so we can access them from the browser. We expect our bot to extract the following fields, company name, contact name, contact title, and contact phone number. We're going to push new contact information to Salesforce by uploading a CSV file containing the extracted data. Alternatively, it can be done via Salesforce's user interface, using the Add New Contact form. Salesforce has a high security protection level. If we do not add some changes, our bot will be asked for additional verification via phone or email, which is easier to avoid rather than automate. We can add the IP address of the machine where the WorkFusion server is installed to the list of trusted IP ranges, so the bot will not face any additional verification. To do that in Salesforce, go to Setup, then Security, then Network Access, and add a new IP address. Using a security key is another way to avoid two-step verification. We won't cover that in this video, but you can find instructions in the Salesforce documentation. Now we can start implementation in WorkFusion Studio. First, we will create a recording that can OCR one business card. The bot will receive the image URL from the business process, so we need to create a special variable to store this URL. For testing purposes, we will give it a default value, though it is not needed for future business processes. We will also create variables to store the information extracted from the business card. In order to OCR the business card, we need to display it on the screen. We will do this by opening the image URL via the Open Website action and maximizing the browser window. The target fields can be located in different places on different cards, so we will introduce a template that can be used for a series of cards from the same company. First, we verify the current business card belongs to the template. On the screen, we search for a key image on the card, which is the company name. This will be done in the action Wait for Image, in which we will provide this key image. If the image is found, the action will put the value true in the output Boolean variable, which will be analyzed and used as an indicator in further steps. We will create a Boolean variable with the name found and select it in the Save Outcome to Variable dropdown. To analyze the result of this action, we will use the if else condition. OCR will make sense only if the displayed business card belongs to the current template. In our case, it means the variable found should be equal to true. If it does, the bot will perform all OCR actions in the then block. There is no need to OCR the company name, as it will be the same in all cards of this template, so we can just assign a constant value to the appropriate variable. The phone number is missing in the card, so we will just store it as a hyphen. For this type of card, OCRing starts from the field contact name. This field and the field title will be OCR'd separately. For that, we will use two OCR actions and tune them this way. 1. Capture one of the cards of the current template. 2. Set up the anchor region, which the bot will look for on the screen. 3. Set up the capture region, with the text we need to extract. 4. Select the output variable, in which the text will be saved. As the anchor region, we have chosen the company name for both actions, as it is the static part of the card. As the capture regions, we set the parts where the person's name and title are supposed to appear. Make sure that the specified frame is wide enough to catch text longer than what happens to be in the current card. If the bot was able to reach this point, it means it found the right template and performed the OCR actions. Based on this, we will assign the value true to the output Boolean variable OCR, which will be used as an indicator in the next step in the business process. This recording could work now, but as we want to support more than one template in this recording, we will need to change its logic a little bit. Imagine the business card has already been OCR'd at some point in this recording. In this case, we would like to skip the attempt to do it again. One of the possible ways to do it is to check the value of the OCR'd variable before the wait for image action and apply the template only if it is false. We will add another if then condition and move all actions to the then block.
Let's create a group for these actions. Name it Try Template 1 Karma Entertainment and put the actions into this group. Now, if we want our recording to be able to OCR more types of business cards, we may copy paste this group of actions and modify them for another template. If the card doesn't belong to a certain template, the bot will skip the OCR actions, keep the value of the variable OCR as false, and move on to the next template in the recording. Let's run the recording for two different business cards. Let's start with card 1, which belongs to company Karma Entertainment. In the completed steps, we can see that the bot performed all steps in the template 1 group and skipped all in template 2 based on the if else condition. Because the value of the OCR variable was set to true after actions in template 1 were performed. Now, let's test the recording with card 2, which belongs to the company DreamCorp. This time, the bot attempted to apply template 1, but didn't find the image with the name Karma Entertainment, so it skipped the rest of the actions inside the Then block and proceeded to template 2 group of actions, found the image with the DreamCorp name on the screen, and performed OCR. The extracted information can be found in the execution result file. This file is generated after running any recording and contains the snapshot of all recorder variables after recording execution. Among them, we can find a group of variables starting with the BC prefix. They contain the extracted company name, contact name, contact title, and phone number.